Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Endless Space 2. Somebody pointed out to me in the comments of the last episode that we didn't have to let the uh, the Vaulters or the Cravers go at NGC 7089. We could have privateered one of our fleets and, and ca caught them out that way. And I totally forgot about that. That's an extremely good point, good advice. Um, I'm having a hard time holding all the possibilities in my head simultaneously here. There's a lot of stuff you can do in this game. So, we're, uh, we're back at home though, we're healing up, which I think is important. I think we're just gonna wait out the truce. At our current rate of uh, influence gain, it's gonna be three turns before we can pay the war cost. But if we wait out the truce, I think we should be able to declare war for free, properly. Um, and that's only two extra turns of waiting. I don't think the two extra turns are gonna make much of a difference. So we're just gonna we're just gonna wait out the truce. I guess we just chill here for now. Uh, we're working on yeah, we're headed over there to do the quest. Okay. We're good. How are we doing? Just kinda empire empire wide checkup. What's up, guys? Uh Zubin is desperately unhappy. They do not love this super tax act. They do not love this planet. They're getting minus minus a lot from inhabiting this planet. Yeah, the poor soil is a real problem. Um, can we fix that by just moving some population over? All of these guys? Okay, yeah, that helps a lot. This is a great planet in terms of um, actual output. 14 industry per citizen is awesome, but we can't, we can't be that miserable. We desperately need a well-being foundation here. We're actually bringing in so much antimatter that that's, that's totally a thing we're going to build. Is a thing we desperately need. Okay. And we have an empty lost slot on purpose. We're just generating influence for the moment. Okay, so let's do let's do the stuff on Origa. All right, we got 150 dust, but there's pirates. It turns out their ships are small and bad. Right, we don't need to watch this battle. You guys like to be close? You prefer to be medium. Yeah, okay. Go out there and get lucky. We did it! We destroyed those pirates! Oh, I probably should have... Uh, yeah, I should have turned on the... Uh, the Spoils of War bill again. Could have gotten some science out of that. I mean, it wouldn't have been a huge amount, but still valuable. Okay, so yeah, we did this already. Let's do the other quest we have on Origa. We have received the Geological Vault, which is great. And possess at least five ships of 1110 defensive power or 11 temperate planets. Well, I don't think we're going to increase our temperate planet count anytime soon. And also this module is not even good. So what is this? A hull bonus that is only equipable on heroes. Okay, neither one of these are good. 1110 though that's I, that seems pretty doable to me oh, these ships are gonna be garbage I assume yeah but like what about our good ships yeah 1524 huh why are these so much lower Longship Design 6 had a lot more defensive power, I guess. And the Drakars are only at 799. Can we... What's up with my Longships? Huh. That's weird. Why... That's weird. Okay. Well, I'm not in any big hurry to get our faction quest moving along. I don't think it's terribly important. All right. Uh, I'm going to be a super professional here and pause for a moment to look at my phone because it just, just made a weird noise. I think somebody texted me. It happens rarely enough that the sound is strange to me. Who communicates outside of the internet anymore? I ask you. Hey, look, it was a thing. Uh, sorry, I have, to, I have to get this. I could edit this out, but uh, that would take effort. 
Sounds like a lot of trouble to me. Okay, we're good. Let's go back to winning the game. So we now have the uh, the, play the geological vault, which is an awesome thing that doesn't require any strategics to build. So let's build it everywhere. And in fact, there's definitely a way to queue something up in all of the queues, I believe. Is it control shift click? No, that's not it. Hold on, we could do this from the from this screen. It'd be easier to tell. How about is it is it Alt Control Alt Click? No. Control Control Shift. No. Nope. Control Alt Shift Click. Nope. I could have sworn there was a way to queue something in every queue. Oh well, whatever. We're gonna queue it up in every queue manually. This is a good screen for this. I don't use this screen that often, just because I kind of like I'm in the habit of looking at each settlement individually and building stuff there from playing every other 4x because that's how they mostly work uh we're not going to bother building it in virac because it'll take forever and i don't know that we're going to be able to hold on to virac for much longer anyway all right we got 60 dust from our quest and i guess we're just chilling out for a little while getting our research done uh we're getting settling research in particular oh i should move my my scout should go do something useful I don't know what he could even do. All right, raise the total amount of science produced in the galaxy. Well, we'll certainly have a part in this. We might, wow. I sure hope we do well on this, actually. We should, we should. We should gain a lot of this science and uh, we could use the antimatter. All right, scout ship. I need you to go somewhere where I don't know where stuff is and look at stuff. Also, everybody's gonna get mad at you if you go through their territory. What about over here? Okay, yeah, take the teleporter and then just fly through open space for a while. And at the end of it, we can fire off probes in all directions and get a bunch of vision. I doubt we'll get anything useful out of it, but there's nothing else useful for him to do either. Send these guys back to Aerie. And hey, we've gotten the ability to colonize Cygnus too. We should probably make that a priority, just so that the system can keep growing. Did we get any other colonization out of that? No, not really. We can colonize Brescia now, which I think we couldn't before. Oh no, we could. It just... It just sucks. <laughs> the reason I didn't colonize it is because it's not worth colonizing. Fair enough. Alright, a couple more turns on that truce. Ah, yes, we also picked up another science building. Well... We may end up just winning a science victory after all. Okay, now we got now we got the good colonization. Actually put this the first. Empire will not tolerate this. Ooh. So I either pay them off or I take a 75% reduction in my influence. I don't think I want to do this. I don't love paying them off, but at least we can afford to. The Empire will not tolerate this. It would be cool if he would just leave us alone. Okay, Dominic. Yeah, plus influence. Also, a lot of uh a lot of influence coming out of this hero. So where, uh, where is he actually assigned? I don't even remember. He's on Staterus. Okay. Yeah, that's a fine place for him. Oh my god, we have so much... So much good research stuff to do. This is 100% content. That's weird. This, this is a display error. I'm assuming I'm actually getting the benefits from being happy. We should probably make a fabrication license too. Uh, probably first... This will this whole sequence will take less than eleven turns if we do the uh, that production first. Oh, also, uh, I'll just buy this. That's probably a new resource that we couldn't see before. It might even be one of the one of the top tier strategics, which would be awfully handy. We should look around real quick and verify. Are there other unexplored? Hey, I see one. Alright, science, science, science. Also, how do you not have Stim City yet? What? 
That's so quick to build. I think we're going to do that first just to get this up to content. Or ecstatic, rather. Oh, wow, we still have probes running out here. That's right, our probes are better now. They go further and they see more. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that because we uh, simulated the pilgrims. So one turn left on the truce, two turns left on the truce. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, systems should build things in general. Okay. I have to say, though, we're definitely doing better than we otherwise would have due to the fact that we went to war. We did some damage. Because we would have been we would have been really hemmed in. Okay, and the other one? Yes, all right, we have, we have deposits of both. That's great. Ooh, this is a bad deposit, though. We only get one. And our homeworld has a... A fine income of the other one. And in fact, we already have the exploitation tech. And we have extra mining. Uh, yeah, that's really great. This is a bummer. Only having access to one per turn of that is, is a bummer. But we'll be, we'll be alright. So we have enough resources to do another level 3 modernization. Who... Who gets it? It should probably be Zubin, right? Well, we benefit more from the science part on really high population systems. Is Alcyon level 3? It is. Actually, Ares is a pretty good place for it. Staterus is already level 3. Yeah, this is just a really powerful cluster of planets over here. And then we'll do the same thing here that we're doing everywhere else. Zubin definitely needs a fabrication license. Man, it's very expensive to rush that. <laughs> okay, and this guy, we're just trying to get up to the next tier. Unfortunately... None of this stuff is really great. Uh, this will at least increase the manpower refill rate of his fleet. They don't have to stay docked as long to get stuff back. Or to get their manpower back. That's something. The only skill point available that doesn't do actually nothing, I think. Alright, we have a lot of very important, very good buildings coming. Market-wide price increase. Okay. Okay. This might be a good time to sell some... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's an okay price. Let's sell, I don't know, 500? Man, we could... We could rush that fabrication license, couldn't we? What's everything else selling at? Yes, huge numbers. Huge, huge numbers. Let's sell another 200 of this. And then we're going to sell... I don't know, 75 of these? And then we just rush Zubin's fabrication license. And get back to building important stuff. Although, we do need the, we do need some, uh, some antimatter. Well, it'll be two turns to generate that much antimatter, naturally. We could cut Ares' modernization. No, we'll just we'll just wait a couple of turns. We'll get the well-being uh, thing up through natural mining. And are we? Is it this turn that we can the true sense? Oh, we'll get a notification. All right. Yep. What do right, so, you sound like when okay. you scream? War Declaration is, in fact, free. Let's figure out whether we want to go back to war with him immediately. I think we probably do. This is not okay. He's, like, actually... He's trying to actually build into Red's Empire. Uh, I... By the way, I know that some of these colors are very similar. Like, these two are... These two are pretty close. Uh, these two are pretty... Cl not these... Sorry, these two are pretty close. Um, that is something I actually have some control over. I can 
I can make those less similar for the next game. So... Do you want to just go back to war immediately? We could run our fleets north and burn this stuff out. Oh, Dobrynia might have... Might have access to good resources. Nalan probably does. Pavo might. Seeing all these new curiosities for the first time due to our... Uh, Due to our science level increasing. No, we wanna we wanna hit the center of his empire. I'm pretty sure there's no reason not to go back to war immediately. Let's send I I kinda don't wanna upgrade. I wish I could like Oh I can. So it just has the health bonus. Is it I wonder if it's receiving big, a big defense boost from being in this fleet. Like, is what is this, what is on this Reaper? Oh, the Reaper has bombers. That's cool. The Reaper has bonus fleet movement. That's really neat. Fleet XP per damage absorbed HP. That is not actually extra defense for the fleet, so I don't think it's that... He's receiving big buffs from the other ships. Let's see. This guy's at 463. We have some other Carve 7s, right? We don't, but... Okay, so hold on a second. 1524. Still 1524. Uh, you know what? I don't quite have enough... Hold on, let's let's pop this guy out. Still 1524. So that's weird. It's just like really overestimating the value of the modules you're equipped with. It's just basic inert plating plus an antimatter lenser. So if I change the longship design to be basic inert plating. Like, this should be very similar. Oh, you know what? He, they're receiving some defensive value from the from the guns. Because these guns can uh, shoot. They have the flak uh, capabilities. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna retrofit those ships real quick. I can also reassemble this fleet. Okay. We're gonna retrofit these guys because it's oh wow it's more expensive than I thought, but still, uh, it should now. Oh, I have to have five ships. Well, need to make a couple long ships. Give me, give me some long ships. I need to make a couple long ships in a system that is a little better at building stuff. Like I don't know, Rasam. Rasam seems good. They're happy-ish. Still a lot. But we're going to let the fabrication license finish. We can get that quest done. So maybe we don't advance until the quest is done, because I want to be able to actually engage. We can send the uh, We can send this fleet out. Let's just have a look around. We should at least scout what weapon systems they're using now and stuff, because they may have changed things up on us. Alright, we got the ability to colonize lava worlds now. Which is relevant for... Nope, that's not what's relevant for Geestrad, but something's relative for, re uh, relevant here. We got the ability to colonize that world. That's right, it was here. Let's put this up first, just so that we can start growing again. Okay. Well, we get to start destroying their civilian vessels again. That's helpful. Aww. I was using that approval. 
So, the Hive insists, nope, I will not, in fact, stop attacking your fleets. You want to do something about it? Feel free to step up. Oh, we've unlocked AI labor. AI labor is actually a lot of... Uh, a lot of industry for a very low cost in some places. It's not terrible here. Plus 10 uh, industry for every citizen that's on this world. We can make that work. Yeah, it, for how quickly that comes off, that's pretty good. Tell us. Tell us. Yes, you're very angry, I know. He's also scared, though. You can hear, he's, he's got different voice quotes. Um, I know that he's concerned about us, and that's good. He should be. It's a Mavro Starb, I guess. We aren't really paying a huge amount of attention to our population details. Yeah, so we're not... We're not particularly close to the first collection bonus on any of the other factions. It doesn't really matter. The first collection bonus is not significant, generally. Okay, Zubin needs this well-being foundation. It needs it even more than it, than I thought it did. Because I forgot that we were getting 20 approval from an event. Is just more civilian ships, more logistics ships. Your actions and what? I, I do not care about your problems. I'm sorry. That's a horrible thing to say, but also it's true. Okay, we just colonized Origa, so of course this is happening. Uh, fortunately, I think that Cygnus is pretty... Eh, it's relatively high contentment. They'll be alright. We have a lot of stuff still going here. This does give industry on sterile. Would we be would we be more or less unhappy on these other planets? Minus three. Oh, we're actually we're quite happy on Cygnus. Ocean worlds are good for us. Never mind, we're fine. I think we probably just need more industry everywhere, always. That seems right to me. I don't even know what enough industry would look like. Well, AI labor is definitely very good here. Yep. Just build, build your ability to build things until you can't build that ability no more. So Brassia did not pick up any new curiosities, unfortunately, so we're still probably not colonizing that. We're, we're right at our colonization cap, too, actually. Yeah, alright. Still scouting. Got new ships coming in from Rassam soon. Alright, well, they're not showing us much of anything. Going back to war might maintain the superiority of the military faction, which I think is to our benefit. Declaring war will get us back our approval uh, that we are now missing. Man, Virek really has very little industry. This will be okay. This has the same cost, but will be better, right? Yeah. These are just miserable, miserable planets. Alright. They're feeling hostile. Well, here's what I think about that. We are coming. 
We are already here. Your actions threaten the hive. But we may not consume you. Okay. So, they have 85 dudes and 28 tanks compared to our fleet manpower of 77 tanks. But, we also have a considerable amount of siege ability. Let's kill this, uh, this fleet here. Oh, 1,800. The logistics fleets are getting, uh, getting juicier. So we want to leave something back to play defense. And given that this fleet is largely beam weapons, I think actually advancing a fleet that's largely bullet weapons up alongside it is probably a pretty good move. It'll make it harder for them to counter us. We also want to move the NARS up, I guess. And we'll leave... We'll leave this fleet back for defense. It's a little weaker due to the ships that we stole not being that great. And this'll this'll get done. We're getting there. We're working on it. So thanks to the Jingoist Joy Bill, we should be receiving 15 extra approval. Any second now. And then we're gonna turn on the Spoils of War Act here. So we can keep leeching uh, science and dust out of their civilization as we try to destroy it. Alright, so we should see some drop in their manpower. Now, we only have two of the uh, the ships that have the siege modules in them, so I don't know that we're going to drain their manpower. Oh, wow. 16% in one turn, huh? Oh, hey. That ended. Cool. That's good. <laughs> That's good. We could really use that approval. And, of course, I'm going to keep killing the uh, civilian transport fleets wherever we can. All right, Hekka is extremely powerful. Still takes a really long time to build the fabrication license, but man, oh man, is it worth it. And we actually have a considerable number of ships here. Reapers and Butchers. Also a hero by himself for some reason. Uh, we may have to turn this fleet around... We'll keep the Nars headed toward there. They're not uh, defending the node right now. We might have to turn this fleet around to go defend because... Well, I bet... I bet our fleet can put up with theirs. We're going to have more ships built soon. They have some weird little garbage vessels just floating around over here. We could actually... We could interact with these a little. Let's send those pilgrims out to do war for us. Oh, I forgot about this. Well, that's a bummer. That was a very helpful thing. Okay, so this is just a random scavenger vessel. Uh, please attack the one we're at war with, not the other one. I mean, he's just going to retreat. All right, it's going to be a big party over here. Obviously, we will attack this random scout ship. It will run away. Right? It is going to run away. Okay. <laughs> Seems like it shouldn't have taken that long to decide that. Yeah, so we're burning the manpower on this uh, on this planet down very, very quickly. There's also a transport fleet there. Alright, so we're we're gonna have our our manpower dropping vessels down here in a second. The planet's manpower is very reduced. This should be an easy one. How expensive would it be to upgrade our troops even more? Uh 2525 and 800 50, 50 and another thousand. I mean we should take it, right? We should also Boost our infantry, which I thought we had already done, but I, I must have decided not to for some reason. Oh, we don't actually... Sorry, we don't have... We're a little bit short of antimatter for that. 
We should boost our infantry, though, because the boarding pods uh, use this stuff. And we certainly are not hurting for these resources. In fact, we can just go all the way on this. I see no reason not to. It's not that expensive. Okay, good. Uh, so you guys run this dude off. He does have a neutral place to retreat to, unfortunately. So we won't actually get a kill here. But we can pursue him over there. And this will get dealt with eventually. I don't I don't actually care about this. Much the same way I didn't actually care about that guy. So that's a, a low priority. We'll get over there eventually. Let us do research. So we now have enough researchers to do a level 4 system development. Unfortunately, um, we don't have the resources to do, to do a good version of that. How many turns is this? 32. Wow, okay. Let's push up the science side of the tree a little bit, because we could really use the science. So what, is, what are the best science buildings that we still have available? Wow, that system improvement is really good. We have quite a few fertile worlds. Um, allows discovery of nodes and star systems unconnected to star lanes. Better movement bonus. There we go, plus 40% science. That's the way you want to go. I will pick this up too. We need two more things to get into the next tier. Yeah, the Dark Matter Institute is is going to be 100 or 150 science in a lot of places. And advanced topology isn't bad. We could get a food building as well. That actually is probably a good thing to do here. Yeah, plus plus food a uh, food specialization is a little kind of kind of a weird thing because by the time you have enough population for that to be good, you don't need it so much anymore. So we might just pick up adaptive colonies instead. Yeah. Okay. So we're moving up to the top tier of science research, and uh, once we are there, I guess we'll decide what our path to the end of the game is. We could just try to do a research out victory, obviously. The war's not ending, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we need to win the game through war. We can just farm a bunch of uh, science off of these guys. <laughs> That'll work just fine. I do wish that you could um, just refuse to take over a, a system. Because obviously I don't want his systems. I just want him to not have his systems. Uh, what are we doing? Approval. That's right. Okay, there's going to be a battle at Takel. We'll worry about this in a second. Still not doing that. Minus 40% upkeep on system. That is interesting. Plus 2 population. It's going to be plus 4 in influence per population point on his system. That's also very... I think we'll go for this first. Yeah. We'll get that upkeep thing. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, hey, our, uh, our ship finally got where it was going. So let's just shoot some probes off in directions. Not really anything else of value for the ship to do ever, basically. But we can certainly, we can certainly be at least generating knowledge. All right, transport fleets, come on. Come on, man, you know better than that. You're just waiting. All right, let's deal with this battle. So, energy defenses split weapons, but we uh, we switched our longships to bullet weapons, which is going to turn out pretty poorly for him. So we want to be at short range. Yeah, turtle seems like a fine way to go. And we can watch the battle. I don't think it's necessary, but it is cool. That counts for something. Oh, I probably should have. Yeah, I should have manually rebalance the fleets because they put the long ship in the medium fleet instead of the close one. That's bad. Ah. Always got to do that manually, apparently. Well, we're going to take more damage here than I would like because it's going to take us a long time to kill uh, some of these. Yeah, this, this ship should be doing way more damage than it's doing. Apparently the accuracy of those rockets is not perfect. 
Our hero actually might die. Yeah. That's frustrating, and all because of the fact that it put my ships in a completely nonsensical orientation. Well, we can we can buy off the hero's medical time. He doesn't actually have to stay damaged for very long. Is that a science ship, or...? Come on, guys. Somebody hit. Somebody make big contact. There you go. I wonder if range has an effect on accuracy. Maybe it's harder to hit from far away. You know, beyond the uh, beyond the damage scaling. Okay, so we lost a carve. We did not lose any science scoops. We got 2,300 science out of that, which is pretty good. Oh, and our hero was damaged, but that's right. The hero won't die unless he the, the whole fleet is destroyed. Okay, so a pretty a pretty crushing loss for them. Uh, we should be able to take this planet pretty easily now. Where is my... Let's see. 70 tanks, 77, 67. All right, yeah, we'll use the manpower that's on the, uh, the NARS because we want the other manpower for, you know, piloting those ships. Okay, so let's talk about uh, ground battle plans a little bit. Because I haven't actually put a ton of thought into these and it's possible that the balance is a little bit different than it used to be. Uh, it used to be the case, at least my, my perception of it, and we'll verify this with the numbers in a moment, is that preemptive bombing was the best way to get the job done quickly, but at a significant cost to the system. Uh, Gorilla is the safest way to get it done. Um, you do less damage, but you have more health, and the, uh, the amount by which your health increases is more than the amount by which your damage decreases. So this will get you done with the lowest loss of life to your own troops. This is the best way in theory, provided that there's no time pressure. And then Blitz is just... I guess Blitz is... 10% extra damage done to Defender, plus 30% manpower deployment limit. Okay, Blitz is actually probably faster than Preemptive Bombing, provided that you have a lot of manpower over your current manpower deployment limit, which is definitely the case for us. Plus 25% population death, plus 25% improvement destruction but minus 25% health on your invaders. Whereas this is... This lowers your deployment limit. Okay, preemptive bombing is a better strategy to use when you don't really have the manpower to just flood them. Blitz is the way to go when you can flood them, but you're short on time. And Gorilla is the way to go when you're worried about the survival of your troops more than anything else. So I think we probably want to blitz them then? See, plus, plus the, the plus damage done to the defender during the ground battle is, I think, the thing I was fixed on before, but the manpower deployment limit issue is significant. We definitely want to just be able to pour more manpower into this battle, especially considering that our troops are so much better than theirs. I assume. Yeah, that was, that was a huge... It's calling this a minor victory, but we lost 10 tanks to their 7 tanks and 43 infantry. We actually can afford to, and probably should have done this before the battle, we can afford to do another this improvement now. Okay, so now we have maxed out armor and infantry. We don't have the tech to use planes, but um, planes are really best against tanks, and the AI seems to like to keep a lot of their force in infantry, so planes are often not that great against the AI. Alright. We have a lot of good stuff going on here. I mean, Dekel's probably pretty advanced, right? It has a lot of population. It's been theirs for a long time, so it probably has a lot of good structures on it. Okay, we've met... We've finally met the actual red player. The red red player. Ah! I was trying to blow up that civilian fleet with our... With our... NARS. Alright, that's fine. Get out of here. You guys delivered your manpower. You're fine. Let's keep blitzing them. We have a, a massive manpower advantage. A decisive victory. They conscripted, it wasn't enough. Obviously come right back after you get back. So I wanted to, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I guess you can just attack civilian fleets with uh, with your biggest ships. 
So we want to go into this battle with our with our takeover fleet, right? What are these guys boasting? They have a lot of oh short range bullet weapons. Short range projectile weapons means a lot of bullets, which means that our boarding pods will have more trouble getting through. It also means that they'll be more vulnerable to the pinch beams, but I don't know if this will work. I guess this is a good time to test this. Hold on, let's see what else. They're obviously not in a hurry to go anywhere, so let's see what else we have going on here. A cooperative quest has been started. Okay, the, the academy quest is beginning. In 20 turns, clear the galaxy of the nine Vodyani fleets to get a bunch of uh, a bunch of antimatter. That's cool, but we're not going to put any effort into it. I think we're going to ignore this guy. He can just sit there and wait. We'll see how things work out. I can't believe there's a pirate planet within their sphere of influence. How have they allowed this to happen? I mean, clearly it hasn't been too much of a hindrance for them. So what does this system have? Tractable armaments for all the good it did them. Lots and lots of food. Graviton shielded libraries. Or laboratories, rather. Xeno tourism agencies. Okay. So a lot of stuff. Not a lot of actual industry structures, I'm noticing. All of them are completely depleted. Exhausted. Producing a fraction of its original income. But... Yeah, we don't really have a lot of choice. We're, we're going to keep it. We can't even vacate it until it's completely ours, so. This planet was inhabited by a highly advanced race that died off when a massive volcanic eruption induced a prolonged winter. The knowledge of their civilization was meticulously documented and stored in bunkers scattered across the planet. Ah. Huh. So actually, the output of this planet is still 20 science. It's a miserable place, though. We need to... Oh, boy. I don't know how we're going to fix that. Uh, microwave pipes, by the way. Great, great structure. I'm happy that we have access to it. Do I want to commit a bunch of antimatter to this? I don't think I do. I don't think we really benefit from the spin project here. Yeah, I just, let's just let the system pump out a bunch of science for now. We'll change this over. We'll try to build some... Yeah, we'll try to build some basic industry structures, but... We're going to be experiencing some serious happiness issues for a little while here. Yeah, stuff we got to address. The Vordiani and our church acknowledge you. Yeah, and there's, and there's no way to just... That's not true. I was about to say there's no way to just annihilate a system, but actually I think there is. Isn't there somewhere a weapon that can just kill planets? I think that's a real thing. A, a real terrifying thing that we might have to get involved with. It's possible that it's a um, uh, top tier thing. Yeah, there it is. Unlocks the planet destruction action for the fleet. Orbit a star system to load the weapon, then destroy a planet. I mean... We could... We could get up there. This is maybe something I should have pursued earlier. I kind of forgot about this. As horrifying as it is, it might be our best option here, because otherwise we're going to have to wait... To, uh, we're going to have to wait for things to level out a little bit before we can take another system. We can just blockade his stuff and kill everything that comes out of it, but that's not the same as removing him. We certainly can't afford to uh, drop the tax act. How much money are we making from this right now? About 400 dust per turn. Maybe we can't afford to drop that because we have such, such good uh, resource income. We can just get by by selling stuff for a little while. I really would love it if we weren't all totally miserable. And us being totally miserable, by the way, is affecting our dust output. Let's let's cancel the tax act and see what, what effect that actually has. So right, we drop that, but then we move up to loyal, get plus 15% dust. It really, it's not helping that much. Alright, well I'm going to try to subsist on sales for a little while, and of course the money that comes from winning battles, because we really do need to be happier. 
Um, it's also affecting our science output. It's also affecting our growth. It is a serious concern. All right. Well, I'm gonna back the uh, I'm gonna back the scientists as we do. Actually, no. We want to back the militarists. I mean, maybe we want to use one of our one of our election actions because, for real, it's uh, it's pretty important to me that these guys stay in power because we need that 15 approval. So, a strong penalty to the competitors, or a strong boost to the selected party. These cost the same. This one says it's ideal if the chosen party is already well supported, which I, th I think it is. I don't know what they mean by well supported. I wish that had a number on it. Provide a strong penalty to the competitors. Provide a strong boost to the selected. I'm gonna. We'll go. We'll go for. Reinforced intimidation on citizens. Listen, we're the bad guys in this game, okay? That's just how it is. In case the destroying hundreds of civilian fleets didn't clue you in. Okay, it looks like that worked. Yeah, I don't feel super great about it, but it worked. Next game will be good guys again. Plus 20 approval per home system on systems. So, just plus 20 approval right now, but after we take the, uh... After we take the, uh, Cravers out, it could be... This could be a plus 40 approval law. Interesting. Very expensive. Um... Probably not something we can actually afford to run right now. I didn't actually commit to the... Whatever. That's fine. In the light of the virtuals. Okay, they don't like the Cravers, I think. Which makes sense to me. I don't like the Cravers. Still no. Okay, the Heretic. So we, we accomplished our last faction quest. Reach f 5350 Empire Manpower Capacity. We don't actually have to get to that much manpower. Although, our manpower is uh, is actually really good now. Uh, to get the Conscription Complex that lets you get... Plus 50% industry on a planet. That's bananas. Or we could get Opbot again. And I mean, we're like, we're on top of this, right? Our, our, science, uh, our science output is improving all the time. No, we gotta get, we gotta get Opbot back, right? There's another governor. He's gonna be good for our science output. This is a powerful building, but it's also extremely expensive. And yeah, we're getting Opbot back. I think that definitely makes the most sense. I just can't I just can't be without him, you gotta understand. So plus this is plus 35% if you're at least happy, and it's very quick to build. This is plus 40%. Uh that'll come in a minute here. Yeah, I guess we're just doing this. These are some expensive buildings, the F Reality Institutes, but very much worth it. I guess we could fire off some probes in some directions that aren't totally getting revealed. Oh, wow. Yeah, go over there. Have a look at that system. Five uncolonized planets that close to another player. It's crazy. Okay, this time this guy actually can't retreat. There are no nodes around that, uh, that he can run to. So this is a kill. It's good for our war momentum. Taking an awfully long time to simulate, which should be a very straightforward battle. I didn't have watch turned off. We'll uh, we'll just click the skip out button here as soon as it loads, because there is no reason for us to watch this happen. Avert your eyes. Nobody needs to see the thing that occurred. Hey, 100 dust, 100 science. Alright, this long ship will run to here. We should probably establish a portal on Decal, actually. That would be helpful. So, we are now refilling our manpower. Uh, we're repairing because it's a friendly system, so I guess we just chill here for a turn or two. We gotta figure out how it is that we're going to approach Nalin before we go any further. Because we might, uh, we might not be able to take it right away. 
given the situation with our loyalty and everything. What is the what is the disapproval penalty for overcolonization? It's going to be 10 per planet probably. And then the vaulters get an additional plus 10 uh, empire wide approval when they're not overcolonized. So we drop we drop 20 by taking Dakel and then we'll drop another 10 for each planet we take beyond it. We can actually probably take Nolan. That being the case, do we want to just move immediately? We know that they have a fleet there. Yeah, I'm just going to leave these two long ships here in defense. We'll use their own ships against them a little bit, and this should be fine. Oh, hey, here's these guys. Uh, we could actually participate in this quest a little bit. We could use the resources. Maybe I should have this fleet... Yeah, Zubin's not actually under attack. We will be able to eat this this um, transport vessel next turn. But after that, we'll, like, we'll port over to Staterus and we'll do some fighting. We can get a we get a little bit of this quest. So yeah, I guess we want to just go ahead and move in on the capital. Go, oh, go. Oh. Okay, they started the fight. They think they've got us. This will weaken them. Even if they do kill us, this will weaken them, and then we have our full strength. Um, boarding party fleet to take them down. So they want to be close. We also want to be close. Yeah. Well, we have turtle. We have plus plus benefit from our hull plating, and we're project we're projectile defended. So are some of them. This will be an interesting one. Now, unfortunately, we don't have enough ships for uh, three flotillas anymore, so that's bad. I guess it kind of doesn't matter how this works out. Should we have the longships in different different flotillas, though? It'd make it a little bit less likely for us to lose a flotilla early, which means that we will not... You know, when we, uh, when we go down to one flotilla, we can lose our morale bonus. Actually, they might have three, huh? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little concerned. It's totally possible we'll lose this. Okay, so they went for Get Lucky. They do have some bombers and stuff. Yeah, this might go in their favor. If it does, though, I think we'll be able to clear them out with the second fleet. All right, overhead view, free camera. Okay, they went really heavy on their middle flotilla. I zoomed in maybe a little too close there. The, uh, the camera movement speed is very low, but the camera zoom speed is extremely high. Let's just back up a little here. Okay, wow, that long ship is getting completely destroyed. Holy crap. I mean, we're doing some damage, but... Jeez, this is going way worse than I would have thought. What kind of weapons are they using? Well, the good news is the flak is pretty good against the bomber. I am now a little bit concerned about our boarding party fleet just getting torn apart before the boarding parties can really do the job. Uh, and their manpower ship, their ships are completely full on manpower, so it would take a lot of time to to kill them with the boarding parties. Yeah, this could be very difficult, actually. They may have halted my advance. It's taking us such a long time to bring down this Reaper that those, the Butchers over there are really hammering us. Oof. Well, you know, it's not the end of the world to lose a battle. It's not the end of the world to lose a couple of fleets. It's not great, but... This battle might end before they kill us? Yeah, we're kind of disengaging. They're going to get the long ship, though. Uh, 
Not so good. Not so good, that one. A major defeat. We did get a thousand science out of it. Okay, you guys can fall back at the next opportunity. So we could go in on them. They have a lot of projectile weapons. Hmm. Do I think that this is just going to get my boarding, po uh, boarding pod fleet destroyed? I kind of do. Uh, so none of this stuff has any effect on fleets? Yeah, he's he's completely out of fleet skills. Okay, well, i going to take one more thing to get up to the next level where we can start getting good stuff again. This, in particular, I'm very excited about. All right, what are we going to do here? Man, there's a surprising number of pirate vessels still running around in the galaxy. Well, I guess we'll never know if we don't go for it. If we do fail this, we have reinforcements coming in. Oh, man. They're putting ships up everywhere. Okay, you know what? Actually... I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pause and think about this a little while. So that's gonna be it for us for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, come back next time. I hate to leave you in suspense, but I'm really uncertain what to do here. So come back next time to see if I chicken out or not. And we'll see you then. <laughs>